Hello and welcome to PCMS Norata and you're watching this video on important concepts of electrostatics for grade 12 by Sonal Gupta. In this video we have a numerical for you which says that four point charges QA that is 2 microcoulomb, QB that is minus 5 microcoulomb, QC which is minus 2 microcoulomb again and QD which is minus 5 microcoulomb are located at the four corners of a square A, B, C and D. We have to find what is the force on a charge of a 1 microcoulomb charge placed at the center of the square. So we first need to find the distance of this charge from all these other four given charges. So we know that the side of the square it is given to be 10 centimeter. So we'll write this side here 10 centimeter. Therefore, what should be the diagonal of the square? So we have two diagonals AC and the other diagonal is BD. So O is a point at the center where the charge of micro 1 microcoulomb is lying. We have to find out the force on this charge. So this distance AO would be half of the diagonal AC. Now first of all we write down that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD and that is equal to DA that's each side is equal to 10 centimeter. And now what's the length AC? We know by Pythagoras theorem this length AC would be square root of 10 square plus 10 square as it gives the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So that's root 2 times 10 or 10 root 2 centimeter. Now that's my diagonal. Therefore what is the half of the diagonal that's AO that would be 5 root 2 centimeter. So first we find out what's the forces. You know this will be generally kind of a short question where you actually don't need any calculations. See what is going to be the force on 1 microcoulomb due to the charge QA and QC. Both these charges are plus 2 microcoulomb and plus 2 microcoulomb and the charge we have at the center is plus 1 microcoulomb. So 1 microcoulomb is going to experience a force of repulsion from the charge at A and the charge at B and that is going to be equal and opposite. So force due to charge FA is going to be equal and opposite to the charge FB because the magnitude is going to be the same but the directions are going to be opposite. So we would have a net effect that the resultant force on the charge at O is going to be 0. Similarly, the resultant force on this charge O due to the charges at B and C. Now, <clears throat> we have the charges minus 5 microcoulomb both at B and D and the charge at O is plus 1 microcoulomb so it's going to be experience an attractive force but again equal and opposite. So, the force on the charge at O due to C is going to be again equal and opposite to the force due to the charge at D. Therefore, we would say we can put a vector sign here because we are talking about the directions also. So, that means FC plus FD would also add up to give you 0 which means the resultant force on the charge, right? The resultant force on 1 microcoulomb placed at the center O is equal to 0 because the forces due to the charge at A and B C cancel out and the forces on it due to the charge B and D also cancel out. So the resultant force is zero. I hope you find this video helpful. Please like us, subscribe us and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at PCMSNorata. Thank you for watching.